exciting thing happening at the shipyard today. So this boat is going into water into the water tomorrow. However, if I go and stand straight behind it, you can see it will head straight to the wall. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! Hmm. So first, this boat is going to be moved over here with all these pulleys so that tomorrow when the tide is right it can go down curious to see how they're going to get a boat like that turned into this position over here we'll find out I don't know if you've watched Asterix and Obelix but here the wizard, I don't know what his name is, is making his magic potion. No, what this is, it's animal fat which has been boiled so it's lit very liquidy. So it can be spread on these wooden tracks. So all this fat will be spread over here so he can slide down nice and slowly. Once he has reached about here, and they can align him drop him into the water. Just a 60 foot boat doing a three point turn. Just so that you see every day. It shows you a good place to be now. Now is will it pass or will it not? Bota nessa primeira, né, Zé? So this is getting exciting. The boat has gotten from there all the way to almost behind our boat. However, it has to pass our trailer. And right now, it is very very close so they are readjusting where the pulley is it was further back so now it's going to pull in a straighter line instead of pulling the bow of this boat into ours and hopefully it will miss by maybe a millimeter Something went a bit wrong. So this is happening. So Marcelo's boat is almost down into the water and it made a massive turn because it actually used to be over there and it had to make a turn to be able to pass behind our boat. However, 
turn on a what is it 60 foot boat has been cut short by see if I can, what is that five centimeters because what is making the boat go back and turn is this pulley <laughs> over here and the winch at the top so the problem is when that goes on it can only pull the boat closer to us now that problem causes the bowsprit to touch so Zeka is busy <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to move like five centimeters by five centimeters just to get or centimeter by centimeter just to get the boat to move back a bit so you can continue using the wind <laughs> How is this been? Caio, can I show you that he becomes a wolf? Did you see how he becomes a wolf? <laughs> It's getting closer and closer every try and I think the distance we have now gives us one last try. So now, actually by jacking it, it is moving. Let's see if we can catch it. We're actually more worried for Sambaki than Yaba because Yaba is being fixed right now and his boat is just being fixed. Look, Sambaki is ready to go to water and Yaba has still a long time to go. So really? I'll rather break Yaba than Sambaki. It's just what is fair. I hope no one breaks though. We'll no one see. will. Isso é gambiarra, bem agora que eu estou fazendo bem agora. Pode, pode chamar de gambiarra. O bem é malvado para caramba. Eu estou bem. Isso. E já correu, não correu? Está quase passando ali? Correu. Não 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 correu. So, after lots of jacking around, it passed. Before we continue with the action showing how a plank is born, first we really hope you enjoyed this action bit because it was something very different from usual. It was not boat building, but it's also what is a part of a day in the shipyard. We would like to use this moment to thank and welcome our new patrons and also the people who donated through PayPal. So we want to start with Lowell, Martin, Ronnie, Oliver, SV Patience, Out, John, William, Hugo, David, Douglas, Bob, Brian, Ian, Ornella, Dan and Fiorella, Anonymous, yeah thank you as well, <laughs> and Trish, I wonder where we got all this sawdust, anyway enjoy the rest, thank you so much guys, what's all this, what's all this, our new planks, We have different thickness, thicknesses, yeah, <laughs> and different widths and different lengths, and they all together will become a new hull. Always 
A situation that happened here is this plank just came from the wood shop and we're analyzing every plank that comes and this one has this white stain I don't know if you can see it from here all the way here this white part of the plank in Brazil we call it brancal which really refers to the color white and it's a wood that's not very strong so if we build the boat with this it's a part that tends to get very humid and just not as solid as the rest so we don't want to use it and we're not going to use it we also found that on the other side of this plank there are also like five centimeters that we cannot use so we contacted the wood shop already to see if we can replace the plank or at least get a discount but we are not going to use this Darkness nearly drowned me. Sunlight long, don't it burn my eyes? Darkness nearly drowned me. So C stands for caverna, which stands for rib in a boat. So that's what the letters are. So here's the number of the ribs, eight. so rib 5, 6, eight. 7, 8, 9, and 10. So he, he's actually gone with that small piece of wood to the boat to measure the angle at which the plank meets the keel. And that's been drawn onto here and then measured onto the, cir the circular saw. And then that's going to be cut onto the plank and the rest will be done with a planer.
Okay, this is so typical. He just starts doing something with some scrap. And I just film it for you guys. And I find out almost the same time as I finish the video what he's actually doing. And this was just a quick gambiaha <laughs> to hold this plank up so it can be cut and planed properly. Now I learned that a translation in the comments of the previous video or videos was bodging in English. So gambiaha is close to bodging. Now they're working on the lowest planks and this one in particular is the most front plank which are the hardest because the lowest planks have to be at an angle in order for them to meet the keel properly so no water comes in. Everything on top of that is usually square so they just don't need as much attention. So with this one they're measuring here then going back to the boat measure it against the keel and back and forth so this will take a while probably the whole lowest line of the against the keel the planks will take the longest when they're done most of the planks will be square or close to square upwards up to the water line and up to the deck so not only are they permanently adjusting the angle or the cut on the plank but they're also well this is Eka, he is busy improving the angle on the boat itself so it goes faster because if you only work on one and not on this one it, they might come back and this isn't good so as they're improving the plank he's here also improving where the plank attaches to the boat and I'll zoom in exactly on where it's actually difficult So you can see there is an angle in that piece of wood where the plank has to go and if the plank comes from here it has to slot nicely into that groove over there where he's actually measuring it now. Here you can see a finished piece of wood that came from the boat so this will be placed anywhere on the plank that's going to be used then all we need is the distance from let's grab here from here to here 
is going to be the distance we need on the plank so if that distance surpasses the plank it has to move up a bit if the distance is made and it's here we're wasting about two centimeters so this has to be pulled down a bit these distances again there's a nail put in in each one of the width of the from this point to the outside of the frame now a little slat can be put all along here so a line can be drawn once that line is drawn and the slats taken off cut can happen so the plank is exactly the width that it has to be and you just have to measure the point from there to there of how wide you want the plank put another slat down the other side draw a line down it and when that line slat's been removed make the cut on the other side as well arms lately we sleep back to back cause something's always wrong thought you were the one for me that my search was through but lately we have the same old fight no matter what we do Is it? It's really exciting. Is it? What? No way! I never knew we had that in there. It's so tempting to click it. I, I know, right? I really want to click that thing. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs>